Sean and HD TV is prime time. It's the prime time hour. What's going on? It's January 15th. You know what today is. Those that know know what today is. If you black and you don't know what today is. If you ADOS and you don't know what today is. Well, then again, I can't blame the youngins because they did put his birthday not on his birthday. They celebrate the man's birthday not on his birthday. It's disrespectful. You know, it's Martin Luther King's birthday today. And it's also my birthday as well. So, you know, I'm not going to forget that. You already know. So, happy birthday to MLK. I don't agree with everything MLK did. But he was a voice for our community or a voice for justice, period. No matter your race, you can learn from what MLK did. You know, we know now, you know, the little mistakes that was made. But it's his birthday today. It's also my birthday today. So for you youngins, Martin Luther King Jr. birthday is January 15th. Just putting it in perspective. And we got some things to put in perspective tonight as well. We already know what happened to Adolph Thornton. We already know where the case is right now. Got some suspects. Got about three or four people that are suspects. Three of these people are locked up in a box, locked up in a dog pound. And over the past week, we have seen Cornelius. He went to his trial, attempted murder, murder. The attempted murder is on Young Doc's brother's life. We know he was there at the scene, okay? And the murder is, of course, on Young Dove. That's what he's charged with. Now, Straight Drop, a.k.a. Justin Johnson, he's went to his first court appearance. Everybody left a comment in the last video because I was saying, why at this court trial, they wasn't talking about the murder. They was talking about him, you know, certifying or registering as a sex offender. They said, don't worry about it, Sean. This is the first court appearance. He's going to come back to court to face those other charges. So those that don't know, I'm letting you know now. The people have answered the question and clear up the air. They said the man, that's his first appearance. He will be back to face those murder charges. Now, the third suspect is an accessory, okay? He's the one that got caught with Justin Johnson with straight drop. He also aided him being on the run. We also know that somebody gave the drop. Somebody ratted him out because they said that. They said somebody tipped him off. They were on that particular highway in Indiana, and that's how they got caught. So the case is moving forward, but I'm also moving forward. And who going to do it but me? The reason why I say that is because when it comes to the Young Dove case, I'm kind of different in how I'm tackling it because I was involved from the beginning and I actually went to Memphis and I was there speaking and interjecting my energy into trying to find out what happened to Young Dobbs, somebody I respect. I respect him as a man first. I respect him as a black man second because I identify with him and I like his movement. I like what he represented, the new black Wall Street. That's what he represented, and I'm down for that. So I have some type of, how can I say this? I have some type of pull for a young Dove, you know what I'm saying, based on what he was trying to do. I believe in that. I want to be part of that because I love my people. And anybody that's there, any black person, anybody that's trying to help my people, and they'll build my people's community, no matter where it's at. That's who I'm down for, and that's what I want to represent. So, the reason why I say who else but me is because I look at it a certain way based on where I'm coming from. Uh, everybody else that's covering the story, I don't even think they care about Young Dolph, most of these people. I don't even think they feel anything for Adolph as a man. Now, with that said... I don't know Young Dove. I never met him. I wish I had a Young Dove in my neighborhood. I wish I had a Young Dove in my family. 
you know. I never met the guy, you know. But him being a black man and doing what he did, that's all I needed to see. So I feel some type of way for the man, even with his mistakes, because I get it. I'm, I don't have a squeaky clean record myself. And I understand being in poverty and coming coming up in those impoverished neighborhoods, impoverished communities. Certain things you do when you're young and certain things you do coming up, whether you're trying to get rich, you know, or trying to be successful, sometimes you get your hands dirty. So we're going to move forward. I'm going to push the envelope and move on to the next phase. And the focus for me is not what's going on right now. I'm going to let everybody else have that. The focus for me is the motive and the why. The focus for me is who is Adolf. I'm hopping on that wave right now. I'm switching lanes. I'm moving this forward on my platform. Before I go further in the conversation, before I go further on dropping any information, I would love for you guys to hit the bell. I would love for you guys to hit the like button. And I would love for you guys to also share this video after you have listened to it. Now, my thing is this. We all fans or people that's in tune with what's happening we all say, you know, we feel for Young Dolph. You know, he, he died violently, and no man deserved that. But what I'm trying to dig up is, how did it get to that point? How did it get there? And what I'm finding out is going to be the results of Young Dolph's demise. The road I'm on right now, because like I said, I'm already miles ahead. I done switch lanes on this topic. You can, if you want to stay stuck on what's happening, there's a million bloggers talking about that. But me, I'm moving to the next step. The next step for me is what's happening, what has happened. Let me explain. Who is Adolf Darton? What did Adolf do? Or did he do anything at all? You see, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we do things. And it come back to bite us. I put up a video and it's called The Mistakes Adolf or Young Dolph Made. The Mistakes That Young Dolph Made. And people from Memphis, Memphians, are commenting in those comments. They are dropping information. You can go check those comments in that video. Memphians are speaking out now because they feel a little safer. People from his community are co-signing or giving me the credibility of my theory. You understand? Right now it's a theory, but it's turning into facts. Now, my theory was I'm trying to put myself in his mind based on a documentary I saw of Young Dolph. I believe it was on Showtime. And I'm looking at that documentary and I see two different people. Me watching his mannerism, his aggression, his tone. When he's Adolf Darton, this guy's a different dude. When he's Young Dolph the artist, he comes off squeaky clean, he comes off good mannerism, well-dressed, well like, charisma, He's laid back, and he's passive in how he speaks. But Adolf Darton, <laughs> Adolf is a different dude. And Adolf remind me of some of the dudes I know in the hood. You don't want to cross their paths. What I mean is he's the quiet killer. He's the silent killer, right? So he comes off like he's a simpleton. You know those dudes in the hood, they're quiet. You know what I'm saying? Those are really the dudes you're not supposed to play with. So I put up the video, throw my theory out there, because what I did was I I was like, you know, what what's his hood like? I know I've been there, but I never really understood the politics until a young lady approached me. A, a girl approached me. She was in a laundry match. She came out. She approached me. We spoke for like two minutes. Me, I was focused on my Uber car. My, the Uber driver not leaving me. <laughs> and, of course, 
I wasn't scared, but I was definitely nervous. I never been to that hood before. I know how Memphis give it up. So I was 100% focusing on that at the time. The young lady was talking to me and she, she mentioned, look, Straight Drop and his people had some serious beef for Young Dove. And she was like, they've been beefing, bodies been dropping on both sides. And she was like, it's like a war that was going on for a long time. And this is separate from the black youngster situation. Okay, that's what she said. Now, I listened to her, I heard her, but I didn't press the issue because at that point, I'm thinking the Cookie family, what everybody was saying, the Cookie family did it. The cookie, fa- Everything was the Cookie family, the Cookie family, the Cookie family. That was my focus, so I didn't really press her. I'm like, eh, okay, that sounds common, you know, yeah. But this was like a setup, and everybody's saying the Cookie family did it. And I told her, I'm going to actually go meet the Cookie family. I don't have a, how can I say this? I didn't set up a meeting. I don't have a plan arrangement. My thing is I'm doing this gorilla style with the camera. I'm just going to go in there. And whatever happen, happens, but I gotta meet the I gotta meet the infamous cookie people. I gotta meet the infamous cookie family. And I was scared going to the cookie place. I was. I was scared. But we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. So my mindset was not on what she was saying. Now my mindset is on it. Cause I was laying down the other day, two days ago, and I was like, wait a minute, you know, there might be something to what this girl is saying, what that girl said. So I went online and I saw like, okay, who are the gangs? Who's who are these people that's in Dolph neighborhood? And I didn't get a lot of information, but I did piece it together where, okay, I'm noticing. Like I said in my other video, a lot of rappers, when they from an area, they need street protection they need like goons around them right so a lot of times they will hop around from like crew to crew to crew or click to click because a lot of time these relationships don't last you understand because of trust issues and they hop around hop around and i mentioned um i mentioned jomo i mentioned jim jones where he had he he got a hardcore his hardcore people his core people but he did have different cliques from Harlem that he was rolling with. Now he's at Foster. He's over there with the Foster dudes. 112th Street, Lenox Ave. But prior to that, like I said, he was messing with dudes from 112 for Madison and 116th Street. So these rappers do this all the time. Why Young Dive should be exempt from that? So I went and I looked, okay, who are the dudes, who are the players, who are the gangs, the thugs, whatever, in his city, and what relationship did he have with them? So I went online. I didn't find much. I know I found out some people called Trula Mafia. See, your Bobby's connected to Trula Mafia, right? And I believe Straight Drop is down with them as well, okay? Now, Trula Mafia has is, is a set, you know what I'm saying? But they got different cliques that's involved with the set. All right. Now, they are heavily beefing with the Grape Street Crips. OK. And then I come to find out about an artist named Big Scar. Now, Big Scar is signed to Gucci. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait, hold up. Here's a kid from Memphis. He, 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 he my I, I watched his interview. He said he had a buzz. He was doing his thing. But understanding the rap game, you need a cosign, especially to get to Gucci, man. Somebody got to either mention you or make that connection. I know Gucci and Dove have a close relationship. So I said, wait a minute, Dove probably made that play. Dove probably set that up. So if that I was my theory, which is which it became a fact, because what I didn't know was forget Big Scar, young Dove is not only related to a, a rapper from from the Grape Street Crips. But he signed artists from the Grape Street Crips. He signed the artists from the Grape. So here's here's how I'm putting this together, right? Because the same thing happened with, with Jim, okay? I'm going by what I see from experience with another rapper, 
okay, what I've seen, okay? So, here you have young Dolph running with Trula Mafia, right? We see him with Straight Drop. We see him with these guys, these Trula Mafia guys. There's photos, there's videos. But at the same time, he's signing or plugging in people from their ops, which is the Grape Street Crips. So, he's in the middle, mixy with both sides. That's a conflict in the streets. That's a serious conflict. Now, Young Dolph died at 38 years old. He was a grown man. He could have been a grandfather. And I believe the Dolph we know now, because we don't know Adolph like that, right? So we know Young Dolph that we know now. But I believe Adolph, the man, his mindset changed and I want to say probably changed around seven, eight years ago. And Adolf the man was looking at, okay, I'm a businessman. I'm neutral. If I see an opportunity, I'll make it happen. Now, I believe that's what happened in his mind. That's what he was thinking. But remember, the streets are the streets and streets play dirty. Maybe he was trying to bridge the gap between the two enemies. He was trying to make peace. I don't know what he was thinking, but I know it wasn't the right thing to do. I know that cost him because these people lost people on both sides. This is a real war. Like, Trula Mafia dudes died, fell out and died. They have family. They have brothers and sisters that's upset. Grape Street dudes died. At the hands of Trula Mafia. They have family. They have brothers and sisters. They're upset. So it's kind of to them shady that, wait a minute, dude, you over here rocking with us. But you over there signing these people, giving them deals. You know what I mean? Putting them on. And we over here. You know? So I don't know what the strike was. What was it? What was the thing that lit the animosity? But you can tell just by that alone, there was some friction towards Young Dolph. And that was my theory that, okay, my theory was, okay, Scars of Grape Street Crip are affiliated with them. Dolph make the deal with Gucci. Trula Mafia dudes ain't going to like that. Me not realizing it's deeper than just the Scar Kid. Dolph was entrenched with the Great Street Crips. How do I know this? Because Memphians left comments. Memphians left comments. They left comments, y'all. They told me, y'all. It's in the comments. They're like, yes, forget Big Scar. He, his cousin is this guy. He also signed this guy. That's a Grape Street Crip. So do you guys see the conflict there? Do you guys see where, okay, it's like it's like the girl in the hood, you know what I'm saying? She's from our block, but she's messing with the op. She got a baby with the op. You know what I mean? That's a conflict. Cause how dare you do that? You know the rules, you know, you know what's up. You 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 have you had a relationship not only with the op, but you had his kid too. So it's like this. Dolph was the bag. And everybody want to secure the bag. Everybody want to be around the bag. So you think it's loyalty, right? You think, oh, we got the bag. He's around us. He hiring us. We the goonie goonies now. You know, he throwed him a car, whatever, a little chain, whatever. And then at the same time, he's messing with the ops. So I could get Trula Mafia's animosity. And I could also get. Where maybe the Grape Street dudes saw Dolph as just a meal ticket. You know what I mean? And they stay neutral because, look, who is their natural enemy? Black youngster and his bloods. Black youngster and the bloods. So here you have Dolph surrounded on three sides. We've seen this before in Spartacus. Spartacus, he had the ocean... Behind him, you can't go in the ocean. You're going to die. Then he had one army in front of him and one army on his left. 
all attacking him at one time. You're not going to win like that. So why am I saying all this? I'm saying all this to point out some type of motive to point out that, listen, the beef with the Trula Mafia and Young Dove had to come from his association, his ties to Grave Street Crips, and bodies fell. Understand what I'm saying? When blood is shed, when bodies drop, it's not a good thing. You can't fix that. You can't fix that. And the girl told me the reason why they are beefing is because somebody died. Once again, I should have pressed that. But she says somebody died. She said at one point, Dove people, Trula Mafia, all of them, it was all good in the hood. But then somebody died. And that person death caused a split from Dove, which you know he's with Key Glock. You know what I'm saying? He's with whoever he's with. You got Trula Mafia over there. You got the Great Street Crips over here. And then you got Black Youngster over there. Okay? So, Dav, from what I'm getting from everybody leaving comments, what I'm getting from the young lady, and what I'm putting together, Young Dav was supposed to die a long time ago, unfortunately. Because the animosity, the war between Trula Mafia, that war is not new. It's old. They been was trying to get him. Now, we know about the 100 shots. We know about the five shots, okay? So we know Black Youngster and them was trying to get him. Gotti was trying to get him. Trula trying to get him. What about the Grape Street dudes? I feel like they were neutral. They was like, listen, we standing over here. We got what we got. Because I don't hear of none of them jumping out the window yet. We would have heard that. We know how the hood is. The hood do things sloppy. We would have heard about Trula Mafia beefing with Grape Street Crips right now. We would have heard that. They have not blast back. So to to me, they stayed neutral while they probably even knew the hit was going to go down. Now, I've mentioned other legal entities like TBI, FBI, and NPD, and all those people. That's a whole different conversation now I'm talking about on a street level, the effects it had on Young Dove based on how he played the street. Don't forget, before Trula Mafia beef, there was the Black Youngster beef. And then before Black Youngster's situation, with Yo, there was Yo Gotti. And then before Yo Gotti, there was Adolf the Man in the street. Now, from what I'm hearing, Adolf the Man shed blood or cosigned. People getting hit. Now, I get it. Only to say, should we blame him for that? Should we say, wow, Young Dove did that? Wow, that's crazy. But don't forget, they were trying to get him. They tried. A hundred shots. Then after that, five shots. They were really trying to get this man. Do you think Adolf, the man, is going to let that slide? Do you think he's going to be on some kumbaya, let's pray? No. No, he's not. So we know, and I know a lot of you love Young Dolph. I know a lot of you respect him, the image, the family man. He's, he's a great dad. He's a great community dude. He's a great family member. But he's also a street dude. Let's not forget that. His hands weren't squeaky clean. So we have to put that in consideration to why it led up to what it led up to. How can you take the king out? How can you do that? What what pushed you? What Who co-signed that too? Because even though the pups been wanted to take him out, they, they didn't. So why now? What changed? Who co-signed that? And that's why I said there's other people involved bigger than them little street dudes, bigger than the pawns. I just told you guys, whoever's involved, I told you. You got the pawns on the chessboard, you know. Then you have the king. But there's layers to the king. To get to the king, there's layers. You have the rock. You have the horse. You, got, you have the bishop. 
You have the queen. They all surround the king to protect him. You understand? So the FBI, that's what they're doing. They're peeling these layers back, peeling these layers back until they get to the top man. Till they get to the man, whoever it is. It could be a street dude, but it's not a regular street dude. We know that. It got to come from the top. Okay? So right now, the motive is what I'm interested in. The why is what I'm interested in. Sean and HD has moved on to the next phase. Everybody else got to catch up. Adolph Thornton Jr., the man, the mistakes that young Dolph Adolph made. This is part two video. If you're just tuning in, please hit the like button. Hit the bell so when these videos go up, you will be notified. I try to keep a lot of conversations going, one or two outside of this conversation, to keep you, you know, entertained. But... We know that this is the major topic, Young Dolph. I've moved on. I'm now on the next phase of this whole thing. Of this whole thing. And it's and it's all about the why and the motive. And that's what I'm focused on. Why and the motive. So far, what we're getting is that Young Dolph put himself in a bad situation as far as on the streets. Okay? You can't be over here, Dolph, and then you over here, Dolph, and then you put in... It don't work like that. There's going to be animosity. There's going to be issues with that. These people' bodies were actually dropping on both sides. So understand that this this is... Imagine, you know how it is. It's tribal warfare. You know how it is when somebody get hit, they pass away. They got brothers that want revenge, sisters that want revenge. And here you are, you over here with the ops, bro. And that's how I think they saw it. You know what I mean? So, is Sean and HD on the right path? Am I am I getting somewhere? What y'all think? So far, when me getting the feedback in the comments, so far I think I'm barking up the right tree. So far I think I'm going up the right alley with this. I think me transitioning over to this topic and leaving everybody else behind and they stuck on what's happening now, they stuck on... What has happened, I'm, I'm trying to focus on why it happened. I'm trying to focus on, okay, what's the motive? Who's involved? And me breaking that down, and I respect all the people from Memphis, all the Memphians that left their comments. You're, you guys are brave. I respect you because we need the information. The people want to know. So from what I'm getting is this, Young Dove put himself in the middle of a serious war. He put himself in the middle of that. Maybe the Adolf we know now, he saw it as, look, maybe he's trying to make peace. I don't know. Or he saw it as, look, I'm neutral in this. I'm a businessman. Who cares? Who falling off? Who knocking who off? I'm just a businessman, you know? And it wasn't about the street with him anymore. And that cost him. I believe that cost him. Because don't forget, who's kicking back watching all of this? Black youngster and the Bloods. They just watching, oh, snap, he making it easy for us. All you got to do now is side with which one of his ops you want to you wanna side with. You're going to side with the, I don't think they could have side with the Crips. But then again, on a street level, when it comes to money, what people do for money, they will do anything. What we know is Memphis is impoverished like most black communities. And here you have million dollar dudes in the middle of impoverished people. Black youngster got some money. Gotti got some money. Dove got some money. Everybody else broke. Everybody else impoverished. Pretty much in the hood. So... They have the influence because they got the bag. Now, like I said, there's a serious war going on. Dolph's in the middle of that. All black youngster got to do is figure out which side we're going to align with, which side we're going to aid. That's it. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened, but it sounds logical to me. The most logical thing to do. I've been trying to get this dude, okay, now, look, his own people beefing with him. Now they're at war with the dude. He's in the middle of a war. 
let's kick back and watch who the ops are. Okay, or word, they don't like him. They don't like him. All right, let's see. This is the murder game. We're putting it down. Who's down? It could have been just like that. But once again, the planning came in from the top. Whether it's Youngster, whether it's Gotti, whether it's even on a different level. Once you see somebody you're trying to take out got an opposition or oppositions, that's an opportunity for you to align yourself, get in the trenches with those people. Whether it's financial, you aid in that situation, or you physically there, or you doing the planning. Like I said, it don't got to be Youngster, it don't got to be Gotti. It could be any element because there's different, there's other ways. For example, it could be a business partner. It could be somebody in business. It could be politics, somebody in politics. This dude, how the crack baby, is now coming into my area. I went to college for this. I work hard for this political stance. How dare this crack baby, he's influential in the community. He's coming in. He's, he's rubbing shoulders with my political ops. Because Dov, of course, had to choose which, which senator, I mean, which councilman, which politician man, which assemblyman, which city councilman that I'm going to align myself with. Because my next power play is to open more schools. Dov was trying to do that. I heard he had a school already. So understand now. The opposition team is like, damn, he going to tip the scale because he got that bag and he got the influence. So it could have came from political, it could have came from business, or it could have came from the streets. Sean and HDTV, man, once again, support the channel. We got to get the ratings up, which that means views. We got to kill them. We got to crush them. This is Sean and HD TV. If you just coming over here, Sean and HD TV been covering this dive story, not only behind the keyboard, but I actually went to Memphis, asked the right questions, spoke to the right people. I got some information four weeks ago, and now we're here, and I'm evolving the situation, moving on to the next phase, which is the why and the motive. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to have more on this because we're going to go live. I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time, okay? You know I went live before, and you know I was playing with it, and I was figuring it out. But now I understand the live. Now I understand how to do video where you guys can come on as well. Using an app called StreamYard, okay, I can, I can definitely figure it out and make it happen. The dudes that's leaving comments, look out for that alert because I want y'all to come on in on the platform the Memphians, you don't got to show your face. Just come on in on the platform and tell us your piece because I believe I'm on the right path with this story. Everybody else can keep the what's going on and the straight drops and this one did that and that one did that. In that fester, y'all could keep that. Sean and HD is pushing the envelope. I'm moving forward with the story and I'm trying to get to the why, the motive. Who was Adolf Thornton for real? Everybody in Memphis from that hood knows you can call in. Not, sorry, you can hop in because the link from the stream yard will be there. You can come in and it's going to be a banger. And I know I'm supposed to do a follow-up interview with Raven from Makeda's Cookies. Okay, so that's going to happen. I'm just waiting for the right moment. But before we do that, we need the people from Memphis to to hop on that live that I'm about to do, Adolf Thornton, the mistakes that young Dolph made, that's going to be the title. That's the mission. We want to find out what happened, why it happened, who's involved, you know what I'm saying, where this animosity come from. That's the goal. That's how we pushing it. Sean and HDTV, thanks for tuning in. You already know.